Some really, really tricky ones. And do you know what? Our next guest, I'm not sure if we should give him the membership just yet, but it's well deserved. Uh, he's a music historian, uh, published author as well, new music columnist for The Sentinel. It's Rob Fiderman. Hello. Hi, Louise. Thanks for having me on your show. Absolute pleasure. Do you think you should be entitled because you've got your own book to go straight into the book club? Oh, yeah, I definitely. I get honorary membership, I should think. Go on, then we'll sort, so we'll rustle something up for you. I mean, with the line of work that you're in, Rob, and everything you do, were you expecting in the music industry this year to be fairly low key after 2020 or to come straight back with a bang? I think a lot of obviously the bands and artists were sort of pent up, ready to get back out there, but I wasn't expecting such an explosion of talent and, um, and bands. It's been phenomenal. It's been nuts, hasn't it? And when, I mean, for us, thank goodness, when you're looking in Staffordshire and Cheshire at the amazing venues we got, there were points where we didn't know if they were going to make it through or not. It's been absolutely horrific. But what we're seeing now is net and big names as well coming here. Is that because we've just got a backlog of shows? I, th- I think so. And uh, what a great place as well. You know, Stoke on Trent. I mean, we've got some great venues, haven't we? Like Sugar Mill and, and the Underground. And it's just great to get back out. I've been out to the underground and Chigmore recently to see gigs, and it's just so amazing to be, you know, back out there seeing live music. Was it a bit overwhelming as well? Because I, I cried when I went to see Greece. I don't mind saying because I love the theatre. And the first time I went, we obviously were all in the same boat. We hadn't been, you know, for over twelve months. It was really overwhelming. I just forgot how deafening it was. The next day, my ears were like completely ringing. So I was completely <laughs> out of practice. Was it the first time you didn't complain, though? They were ringing and you're thinking, great. Yeah, I thought it's back to rock and roll, isn't it, you know? Yeah, thank goodness. What have been the biggest surprises, do you think, for 2021? I think Abbott. I mean, they discussed about three years ago, you know, doing this new sort of tour where the aviators, um, you know, that it's like a virtual tour. Um, and they started writing uh, a couple of songs for the show. Uh, I still have faith in you was the first one, and they really enjoyed writing songs again, so they wrote a few more, and then they just decided to do a new album to coincide con- with, the, with the tour. Um, they've had to have a... Uh, First of all, she has two songs. And then we said, well, maybe we should do, I don't know, a few others. What do you say, girls? And they say, yeah. Then I asked them, well, why don't we just do a whole album? Yeah, and they did. And it was so weird sitting here just going, I still feel weird now saying it, brand new music from ABBA. You can't believe it's happened. What do you think the deal is with the avatars as well? What do you think of that? Well, it took them five weeks in TV studios to record because they actually had to perform the the whole songs live. There was up between 500 and 1,000 people were involved in sort of putting this all together. And it was a mixture as well of, uh, of the lights and audio. There's a lot of lights in the show as well. Um, but Benny and Bjorn weren't too happy to have to shave the beards off. Yeah, how would you feel? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd be devastated to lose mine. I mean, with all this going on and the uproar and the excitement as well, which we were all ready for, who would you say, who would you put your money on, the one to watch locally maybe for next year? Oh, definitely uh, Lissy Taylor. She's from Stoke-on-Trent. She's an amazing singer-songwriter. She moved out to Kentucky in the States for a few years. Uh, She came back. She's had massive support from BBC introducing Stoke and she's had quite a few plays on on Radio 1. Um, And she's just embarked on a UK headline tour, which finished at the iconic Water Rats in London. One of the Gallaghers went along to see her backstage because he's a fan. And uh, I was lucky to see her at the Underground and she's phenomenal. So definitely, definitely big things for her in 2022. Lizzie Taylor, go and check her out. But you can find her in a Listen.
Chelsea Taylor just wanted to say thanks to everyone who's supported me this year, playing the EP, coming to the shows. It's been awesome. Thanks to Radio Stoke. Next year is going to be a big year, so everyone have happy Christmas and happy new year. Not looking too bad.